I promised, you vote it, I delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, today I will be animating in the oldest version of my animator ever created. Ever. Now this shall be interesting because the oldest version is quite limited. What I'm going to create is what you guys have voted in my community tab. I asked you a question, you guys posted some suggestions. Half of you guys said fighting. And let me tell you straight up, I'm not gonna do fighting. Otherwise I can be here all day. I said short clips. The other half of you said parkour. And I'm gonna say I'm not gonna do parkour either because there are no bends in this version. And bends are essential if you wanna do parkour. No parkour here. But there was one suggestion that said shooting a bow while running. So I'm gonna try doing that. Plus somebody said simple mob fight, so I gotta combine the two and I gotta make Steve run and shoot a bow at a creeper or something. You can sure support the channel by dropping a like and hitting the bell for more content like this. Or you can suggest the tutorials as well and vote for them in my Discord server. Anyhow, I'm a bit salty because my mirror 0.1 is broken. I've made myself a Steve rig and there's no way to save the project, so I lost it. It took me about five minutes. I'm furious. Save animation. It should be saved right, but if you want to close this, it asks you, do you want to save it again? Which is fishy by itself, but the reason it does that is because you didn't save it at all. There's no way to save projects. This character is going to be the body, and alpha all the body parts except the body. I'm going to do this real quick now. Add a second character, name it head, lock the head onto the body, and the body part is going to be body. Make all the other body parts invisible. I want to have each body part here so I can add overlapping action, otherwise it's going to be ugly and I, I do not stand for ugly. Also, the left leg should be locked onto all, not the body, otherwise it's going to rotate with the body. And we have our Steve rig done again. There's no way to save it. How exactly am I going to do this? I got to make a running cycle now. Okay, first of all, I'm going to add on a character, but hold on. Model human. Alright, so I think you added the objects, right. Add, it's gonna be called Steve, and it's gonna be a block. A block of air, so it's invisible, perfect. Now the body is going to be locked onto the Steve. If I move the Steve now, this is gonna be my entire character. That's it, alright. This is my rig now. Now let's try doing a running cycle with this. Okay, I'm starting to have fun already. Forget my saltiness. Although, I am going to have to rotate it like this, because there's no pivot points here. You guys you guys truly hate me, don't you? Now let's put Steve back, let's scroll out. Well, this is going to suck. Okay, two frames forward, should be down on the ground. And this right leg, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, maybe just put it like this? This is difficult, okay? Actually, I messed it up already. This Steve guy should be rotated 45 degrees. We all forgot about that, right? I'm gonna make my same default running cycle that I usually make, just without the bends. But then it's too close to the ground, so let's just rotate it outward. Ah, this is so horrible. And there's no bend to it, which is gonna make it look even more horrible. And now this leg is gonna be rotated outwards. This should go up like crazy. So we have this cycle here. Let's put the tempo back to 24 because that's where my tempo usually is. If I loop this, it looks like this. It's some sort of a running cycle. Whee! Like this. I might just need another Steve. Add a new one. Block of air. The Steve is going to be locked onto it. Now the Steve height is going to go up and down, and the Steve is going to go forward, basically. So I think there's no way to copy paste frames, is it? There's no way to select multiple frames, but you can copy paste them. Okay, let's try to do that. Like this, and like this. Ooh, that's gonna be so much fun. Duplicating each keyframe. Mmm, somebody save me. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying from a YouTube channel. I have no idea. End my suffering. The Steve height needs to be down. I'm gonna animate the Y values here. And this upwards needs to be eased in. So basically I can just du duplicate all these again. Oh my god, this is such a pain. David, what are you doing? It's something for the oldest version of my animator. It's something. Ah, uh, this is horrible. So Steve as a character. Oops. There's no undo. There is no. What? What? No. Delete this keyframe then. This is all buggy and weird. And if I play this... <laughs> This is so horrible. But the legs are not sliding, yeah? The jump is too high, but fixing things is way too painful in this version, so I'm gonna leave it like this. You can argue all you want, I'm gonna leave it like this. X, like this, minus 20 or something like this? Ah, stop making keyframes. So it should look like this now. Oh my god, that is so bad. Let's 
raise this guy up. And now let's try to fix that every single time he takes the step. The copy pasting process is really painful. And we have our little monstrosity. <laughs> now the arms. Oh no, he needs to be holding a bow. That's, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. He needs to be holding a bow. Let's add an object, which is going to be an item. Stage one. And it's going to be this one. Locked onto the character. And the parent is going to be the right arm. Okay, right arm again, because it's that body part. That's it. Now it's right. We need to rotate this guy 90 degrees. 135 degrees. Let's put it down on the wall. Oh! My god, this is sensitive. I do like the fact that it shows you a map of each cube. That's nice. Let's instead lock the bow onto the left arm. He is still holding it, everything is still intact, but I'm gonna make it like so. So he starts running and then as he brings his arm forward, he's gonna start aiming with the bow. That's what's gonna happen. X outwards a bit. Yeah. Now as he comes forward, start aiming. What am I gonna say? like an ultimate sniper boy oh yeah of course try to pull the bow which is really hard i'm gonna cheat with the position and stuff oh my god i'm so sorry i don't know what i'm doing i'm sorry i think i just broke him <laughs> arm is going to go back to zero 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 because that's what arms should do try to get pulled backwards a bit this is what happened so far this is actually not that bad at all! Oh my god, I'm shocked. What? <laughs> I don't know how to react. Yo, I was expecting like some newbie trash. And then this is where it shoots. So I should now do stuff with the bow. Duplicate that bow to this one. They should both be in here. So what should happen is at this point where he starts to pull the bow, this bow will become visible. This bow will now become invisible. So basically I switched the visibility. So bam, the bow gets slightly pulled backwards. I'm gonna duplicate this item once again. And now bow stage 3 becomes visible here and this guy becomes invisible here so now it gets pulled even further. Duplicate this, bow stage 4 starts pulling it and then this part it's gonna shoot. 4 becomes invisible and bow stage 1 becomes visible once again. So it's like this. God, it actually looks better than I thought. So now we should add the next object, arrow. Unfortunately, you don't have special objects in here yet. So there's no 3D arrows, there's just this two-dimensional thing. The position is something I hate in this version. Direct it properly. I think this will do actually for now. And now make a keyframe at the start, make it invisible. Going to appear as this guy runs here and bam, it's gonna fly out into that creeper which is not there yet because we haven't animated yet. Like pew. So now I'm gonna make the arms come back down casually. Continue on with the running thing. And at this point, the arms change. I feel nostalgic and I never used this version before. I came around 0.6.2. This is older than what I remember. Okay, so let's see what I have so far. Wah! Oh my god! This is surprisingly good! What the hell is going on? Okay, maybe the head should not be overlapped. And as he pulls, I'm gonna make the head adjust. And now if I play this, he's also going to look at the direction of the creeper. <laughs> I am Shook. And there is going to be a creeper guy standing there. Model. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, the great mob update hasn't happened yet. This is where there were no mobs yet. Just Steve's and, and Pyrovision babies. So I guess I'm gonna make a Pyrovision baby being shot by Steve. So the arrow stops there. I'm gonna make the first keyframe of the baby. Oh my god, what is this thing? David, I think you should cut low on drugs. I won't even bother animating this dude because of how ugly it is. You know what, I'm gonna make something derpy. Somebody said derpy animation. This is the derpy part. I'm gonna include the derpy part in here as well. The arrow stops here, but I am going to add the second arrow. Arrow inside of baby. This went really dark, really fast. <laughs> so the arrow is going to be locked on Pyrovision baby, oh the creeper guy because I named him creeper for some reason. So I'm gonna try to sync this new arrow to be turned exactly as the old arrow. This is as close as we can get. So bam, it looks like the arrow stuck inside of him. And this baby... What have I done? I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell for what I have done. I repent my sins. Jesus Christ. I'm enjoying these old versions so much, so much. Okay, I have a better idea. Let's move all of these back by two keyframes. It's even faster. <laughs> I cannot get enough of this. 
How did I get here? My first ever video being posted. Zombie first person animation. How did I get from that to shooting babies with a bow? Okay guys, that was it for me animating Minimator 0.1. I hope you enjoyed because I definitely did. If you want to download Minimator 0.1, the oldest version of Minimator ever created, I'll put the download link in the description. It's hella fun and man, boy is it fun. I am going to export this animation because I, I, I need it. I do encourage you to try this out yourself because it's hella fun, really. I'm having a blast here. Suggest your tutorials slash video ideas and I'll be down to make them. And thanks for watching and stay sharp.